think it's taken me about a good 25 minutes to get here and it's up a hill so typical vlog I've just spied a plant shop and then we've got a lady on a bear my hair <laughs> Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a vlog for you and we're starting the vlog off today in Norway. I've been here for the past week and today's my last day and I'm going to be heading back at around 8 p.m. this evening. So I've got a few hours um, to have a look around and I'm in Oslo at the moment. So it's my first time here so I thought we'd go and have a little look around the city. So before we get going, if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week and if you enjoy this vlog, give it a little thumbs up. Oh, this looks like a nice shot. called Grunelocker. I asked the chap that I've been working with where it was good and where I might like and he said it's a little bit like Peckham here which is where I'm from in London so he also said there's a few thrift stores here which is right up my street so we're gonna go and check those out now. We've got a Salvation Army kind of place here. Go and have a look at what they've got. tried the door and I don't think they're open till 11 so I'm gonna go and grab a little coffee somewhere. Oh my goodness I've been here for literally like five minutes and look what we've spotted already. <laughs> How does this always happen when I'm abroad? I do actually have to go in there because I need to pick up a tray for a commission that I've had this week so I'm gonna go and see if they've got something that would be suitable. Oh they've got all the Easter stuff in store. These are nice, I've not seen these before. These are like a sunglasses holder. It's got a slate base. I didn't have what I was after, so I'm gonna probably pick that up when I get back home. So my deadline for that is Friday, I think. So I do need to get cracking with that one. I'll tell you more about it when I get on with it. But I've just spied a shop called S Sustreen Green, which um, somebody's recommended to me on Instagram as a homeware store that I might like. So we'll go and have a look in there next. bits in here as well actually and some very nice stationery
just found this tray, which I think I'm gonna get, because I think I can work with that for what I've got in mind. I'm having mixed thoughts about that tray now. I was kind of thinking maybe I should be going for like a hexagonal, but I don't know. We've got an option anyway, at least we've got something to work with. I've just spied a plant shop. A nice day here today the weather's been absolutely freezing we've had some snow and then yesterday it went to rain so i'm really lucky that the sun's actually come out today I'm lucky, I think the Salvation Army is open now, so we're going to have a little look inside. I'm not really feeling Oslo's thrifting prices. I was looking at shirts in there and they were all like 22 to 25 pounds. So yeah, I think I'll save the thrifting for when I'm back in London. Um, so now we're gonna go and head into the city centre and have a look around there. This looks like a cool shop. And I think this, um, we cross over here and then go into the city centre. Got a lady over there, can you see? I think riding a bull. And then up here, got this guy. Whenever I'm vlogging, I always forget to take pictures, so I'm trying to remember to stop and take some actual photographs as well today. Because usually, yeah, I'm so busy trying to vlog that I forget. I'll definitely take a few today and I'll put those over on my Instagram. So if you want to pop over there to have a look at some of those, um, I'll leave all the links down below for you. On this side of the bridge, we've got a guy with a violin um, on the back of a horse. And then we've got a lady on a bear. Home section. 
Le filet, tu es la tête, tu es le pilote. La balle sans pistolet, la portée sans minote, tu es le bœuf. Looks like a good one. This is such a nice H&M, it's so big. <laughs> They've got a bit of a sale on as well, so I picked up a couple of bits to try on. I like the look of this nautical shirt. How nice is this? <laughs> this is the nicest H&M that I've ever been into. Get the rules, if it makes you happy, wear it. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> so yeah, I know, but we're just gonna go with it. Have a little try on. The building behind me we've just seen is the government office and then right in the middle of this big square there's a public ice skating rink. It looks like you can just go ahead and go on there. I think it's probably not a good idea that I chance going on there, especially with my camera in my hand. Last bits of the snow are melting. I just stopped to take some pictures for Instagram, which is always a bit of a mission when I'm by myself. So I either have to ask somebody or put the camera on a tripod. Went for the tripod option, but um, yeah, wasn't really playing ball. It's very windy, so <laughs> camera kept blowing over and yeah, I had a scarf in my face and that was the situation. But I got a picture I think I can use. So now we are approaching the Royal Palace. It's just here in front of me. See the guard there. This kind of reminds me of Buckingham Palace in like the size of it and the fact that you've got like this turning circle and then the park over here kind of reminds me of where Green Park is in London in comparison to the palace. Looks like they might be changing guards at the moment. And from up here, there's a really great view back down into the city. I'm trying not to slip over. Now I'm going to head to the other side of the town. I'm going to go to the Monk Monk Museum, see some paintings. There's signs of spring here. Things are just starting to pop up. So many good homeware stores here. Oh dear, that's how windy it is here today. Um, yeah, I've completely misjudged the distance and I've ended up walking about three kilometers, I think. It's taken me about a good 25 minutes to get here and it's up a hill. So, typical vlog, I swear this happens every time I explore a city, I end up walking up a hill. <laughs> Um, gallery.
gallery in the museum because um, well there's no cameras allowed in there but I can't believe how big some of the paintings were I had no idea of the scale of them they were kind of like billboard size which was really cool yeah I'm just gonna go and get checked in now and I'm gonna spend a bit of time working here at the airport before I fly back to London where whichever number it is for you to check in at, it's always the opposite end of the airport to where you went into the airport. I'm just doing a bit of work probably for the next uh, two hours I'm not flying until 8 10 and yeah it's only um, half past five so I'm here quite early but I've got quite a bit to do so I've set up a little desk area here and I'm just gonna sit and get on with some work I've got all my charging going on down there I finished my work for the day and I've just found a little kind of sofa booth I've got to keep my voice down because it's quite quiet isn't it? I'm just catching up with Kate's vlog from the weekend. I'll link it down below because it's a really good one. Tuesday and the camera battery is flashing so I need to wrap this up quite quickly so I'm back in London okay so the battery did just die I'm now at the train station but yeah I'm gonna end the vlog now because I want to get this one up for you for Wednesday evening which is tomorrow night so I need to finish this one up to get it edited so that can go up tomorrow I think what I was saying is that I'm heading into central London to go and have a meeting and then I'm gonna be popping along to Tottenham Court Road I need to go and get some paper for that trade commission so if I see anything that I think you'll like in paper chase or any of those stores along Tottenham Court Road then I'm going to put them on my Instagram stories and I'll save it to a highlight so feel free to pop over and follow me on Instagram I'll leave both of the accounts down below for you yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this little look around Oslo in Norway with me and I'll be back on Friday with a what have I got on Friday I've got a haul for you it's a home bargains haul and it's in collaboration with Kate McCabe and Luke Catlow and we're all going to be showing you all the things that we bought in home bargains when we went down to Norfolk for the day um, and I'll link that vlog down below as well for you to have a look at our antics on the Norfolk broads and shopping around in home bargains so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this vlog thank you so much for watching if you're new here don't forget to click subscribe and do this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon bye